Okay, so here I am in my glazing studio, and I've got a pot here. Uh, it's a platter, actually, that uh, I've already sprayed once. And I'm getting ready to put a, another coat of uh, uh, another coat of glaze on it. And I thought I, this is basically my setup. I've got a, a, a turntable here. I don't have anything really fancy or motorized. I just turn this turntable by hand. Then I have this spray booth here that I built, just out of some plywood. Went to uh, the lumber yard and got some filter material. <clears throat> and uh, this is my wood shop also, this uh, room that's set up for glazing right now. So I have a vacuum system in here. And I just hook this, uh, up to my this uh, fil uh, filtration system, up to my glazing, up to my uh, vacuum system for my shop, and then it keeps the uh, spraying the dust from getting all over everything. So here's a shot of my uh, how my vacuum system hooks up to the filter. Um, I just connect it right into the back there. And uh, it does a pretty good job of drawing all the overspray and uh, keeping it from getting all over my shop. And I also have this other air filtration system here that I'll turn on. So anything that gets missed by the filter system here gets picked up by the shop filter here. The way I uh, spray my glazes is a little bit unique. Um, my favorite tool, my favorite method, is to use this setup right here. This is uh, an air nozzle that I got at uh, my local lumber yard. And then I have this mouth blower right here. And the way I do, did this is uh, I took and cut the end off of this uh, sprayer. And then I wrapped right here. You can see a little bit of um, its... Uh, some duct tape. I wrapped around there until it was about the same diameter as the mouth on my blower. This is just a hand, a mouth blower that I bought from uh, Chinese clay art. $19 for this. It's very cheap. Um, it holds a small amount of <coughs> uh, glaze you can see it's not very big this, this is a medium size and I can you know it's very easy to uh, open actually this one sat overnight so it might not be that easy to open there and uh, I can change my glazes out very easily it's stainless steel so it just washes out it's very clean I've tried a lot of different sprayers. I've got, you know, the high pressure or low pressure, high volume sprayers, um, and they work okay, but they're more expensive and there's more moving parts, and they're more prone to jamming up and plugging up and so on. This guy right here is the best sprayer I found. But blowing it by, you know, with your mouth, you get out of uh, wind quite quickly. So that's where I came up with this idea about <clears throat> using my compressor and the air from my compressor. So I put this tape around here, make it just big enough so that I can just slide my sprayer on and it holds snugly. And then I get a little unit that looks like this. Okay, so... Here we are, uh, another view. This is, you can see in the background here that I'm in my wood shop, but I've got things kind of uh, set up for glazing here. This is my uh, vacuum system back here. And then down here is my compressor. Okay, compressor's kind of hard to get at. So one of the things that I like to do is I put a little uh, pressure valve in the airline so that I don't have to go all the way back to my uh, compressor to adjust the pressure because that's one thing about a mouth blower you only need about 20 pounds per square inch of pressure 20 to 40 depending on 
how much glaze you want to get on there. So it's nice to be able to control the amount of um, air pressure going through the mouth blower by having a little valve on the line to control that with. So this is my valve that uh, I control the uh, air pressure with. And notice that I've got it, this is the, this coil line here, it comes out of my air compressor. And I just, uh, this, this valve, I can just connect on to that. And then on the other side here, I've got a different line coming out. And I can, uh, that goes to the uh, spray, the sprayer, the mouth sprayer. And then with this little valve right here, I can control this and adjust the uh, pressure without having to go back and get underneath and down on my knees and dig into the uh, compressor down under there. So this is a handy thing to have. You can also mount this thing right at the sprayer, but I don't like to do that because it's just one more piece of... Uh, hardware there and it makes it heavier and it tips over easier and so on and so forth. So I keep it back here in line and uh, out of the way. So here's a little shot of my sprayer and how it sets up. I can just set it and it sits there. If I had that uh, uh, pressure control gauge right here it would be heavy and bulky and it can tip this thing over. So I keep as uh, small of an arrangement right here as I can and uh, it makes for a nice uh, nice little simple straightforward unit there okay so now just to show you how I do this it's really nice because this is really simple I can just take this apart and pour my glaze actually this is a, a white slip I can spray slip with this thing too. It's, it works really well for slip and glazes both. And then uh, I've got a pail of water here. And I can just very easily rinse this thing out. Another nice thing here is that if I take and uh, just dip the tube that goes into the, uh, this tube here that goes into the glaze inside the container here, if I just dip that in the water, I can spray a little uh, water through there and clean, and clean it out. It also helps me uh, clean out the interior of the container. I can just spray water in there and it works out real nice. This, this particular uh, thing is sat overnight with glaze in it, so it's a little bit more work than normal. But uh, it's still not too bad. <clears throat> then I can just wipe the container off. And I'm good to go.